This is a right-sided carotid endarterectomy using the Orbi exoscope. He originally presented in 2014 with an asymptomatic 50% stenosis on CTA, only to have a stroke, radiographic stroke, with uh, the, um, a, a significant 80% stenosis. You just saw the 2014 CTA, and then he had this diffusion hit on MR with a negative CT scan. This was his follow-up CTA showing a much more severe narrowing up to 80%. And on this next view, you can, check, you can see on the axial views, the left uh, versus the right, the 2019 versus 2014 study, how there's been a progression of the disease. So here's the right-sided endarterectomy where, where Mark, the arterotomy, we placed ramels as well as vessel loops around the external. We clip the internal fob by the common and external. And after the monitoring may stable, I just took the... Uh, the vessel loops off since the shunt wasn't necessary. Uh, we make an arterotomy with a number 11 blade and extend the arterotomy into the internal carotid artery using a pot scissors and immediately you can start to see this ulcerated, ulcerated plaque just beyond the bifurcation. Uh, we ex I extended the arterotomy a little bit more proximally and then using these fine uh, forceps and an olive crona dissector developed the plane between the plaque and the arterial wall. Uh, elevation of the plaque out of the external first and then into the internal and you can see we get the uh, plaque out nearly in one uh, piece with a beautiful uh, uh, wall of the vessel uh, you can see. Unfortunately I think the plaque extended a little bit further superiorly uh, than where the carotid cl the internal clamp was so I just added a internal clamp a little bit higher removed the bulldog and then extended the arterotomy a little bit further into the internal so we could remove the plaque in its entirety. Seeing a, a little bit of bleeding from the uh, internal carotid back into the vessel, and once the plaque comes out, uh, the lumen uh, and all that irregularity is gone. Uh, once we remove the uh, plaque, then we inspect the internal. Uh, the nice thing with the exoscope is you can angle it superiorly here, uh, and it's uh, ergonomically the surgeon's in a neutral position despite looking straight up the vessel which you can see there was a little bit of small very tenacious hard plaque that I literally was cutting out with a scissor and at the end this laid uh, laid against the artery without elevation I thought it looked quite good we're now we're just stripping these last little pieces of uh, uh, intima away from the uh, vessel wall just so there's no nothing loose and we just irrigate with heparinized saline just to check that there are no more loose fragments and here's the last small bit that we can just elevate off perpendicular to the arterotomy. Uh, I like to put a, a middle stitch in before I start closing it just to get the uh, two sides lined up so we avoid any kind of dog earring and by putting this first stitch in which I just tie with my hands, this is a 6-0 proline, I can um, ensure that the two sides of the arterotomy uh, line up well uh, for, the, for, the, for the continuous stitch. Um, so now we're going to start the uh, continuous stitch. I'll do a running locked stitch uh, starting from the uh, distally at the uh, internal arterotomy site. And then I'll uh, run this in a running, running locked fashion uh, towards the common. Uh, this is all done, again, under the operating exoscope, the entire closure as well as the endarterectomy. So we're going to run this stitch, being careful to... Uh, gather just enough of the two sides to not stenose the artery, especially at the level of the internal, and just run this proximally. Uh, we use copious uh, heparin, uh, he um, heparinized saline throughout just to keep uh, any clot from forming. As we get uh, closer to the uh, common now, uh, we're going to back bleed um, the different segments of the, the vessel. First we back bleed here the internal. Uh, you can see uh, blood coming through that small opening and then uh, reclamp the internal followed by uh, forward bleeding the common and uh, we let this bleed just for a few seconds just to really bleed out the common and then we're just going to reheparinize uh, the lumen with uh, heparinized saline and then finish uh, the, the arterotomy with the 6-0 proline. So these are the last few stitches with the 6-0 and then we're just going to tie this off And then recirculate. First, uh, we'll take off the common clamp, which we're releasing now. And you'll see the bleed up the external. We've loosened the external. And then we release the internal after 
some common external circulation. Just checking with Doppler, we had excellent Doppler uh, signal uh, suggestive of uh, a widely patent vessel. And uh, then we're just going to complete the closure. I like to leave the arteriotomy open so I can see it and then just either place some gel foam or Surgisil on the arteriotomy itself uh, after, to, after I ensure that there's no significant bleeding. The patient did well postoperatively with no deficit and was discharged to home with outpatient follow-up.